flip through of one of my new oracle decks. Um, I got this a few weeks ago. It's called the Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle. It's by Terry Foss and Sarah Robinson. This was something that a friend of mine sent me a link and said, oh my god, this is so gorgeous and I thought of you and I thought, hey, I think of me too. That's beautiful. So, our Oracle deck includes 59 cards and a folded booklet. We both have a deep connection with the moon and nature. My goddess, which fairy themed paintings are paired with an inspirational word featured on one side of our card collection meant to offer love, light, and positive energy into your life. The reverse side is graced with moon phases photographed and designed by Sarah. Brightest blessings, Terry and Sarah. So, it comes in a decent box. I do hate a tuck box. And then this is the little booklet. Looks like each card gets some keywords. And then there's some information on the phases of the moon. So, minimalistic little um, booklet there. And then these are the cards, the backs of the moon faces, which I really think is fun. <clears throat> and then getting into the oracle, the title card, and that pretty much what was on the back of the box, and the cards. Love. This actually reminds me very much of the fates. Energy. The colors on these cards are so soothing to me. I really like the um, overall vibe of them. And I do love a good witchy card. So very witch forward, very moon forward, sprinkled with cats and owls and such that are often seen as the familiars. this oracle the booklet doesn't have a lot of words a few keywords it's very much left to your intuition and your interpretation of the cards lovely. Again, no borders, which is one of my favorite styles of cards. I like when the, the artwork is the card. Except in cases, like, I do have a couple of decks where the white space is important to the overall feel and the reading of the card, but that's more negative space than a border. I don't like borders for the sake of borders, I guess. Rejoice. They're kind of 
sliding all over each other here, though. A lot of it is in shadow. themselves they're a little bit slippery decent card stock it's a good weight and feel let's give it a shuffle uh, they're quite slippery they rifle well but the bridge they kind of want to fly everywhere So be tough with them. Yeah, they are super slippery cards. Ew. <laughs> but they're a good size. They have a really good feel. And they're just beautiful. Did get these from the publisher. I do not remember who the publisher is. Harry Foss, Earthly Souls and Spirits. So that is my new Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle deck. 